Hello, this is Anuradha. I'm here again with the next video in nutrition in human beings. In previous video, we did we dealt with amoeba, that nutrition in amoeba. And today we are doing nutrition in human beings. First of all, we should know about elementary canal. This is the digestive system of human being. Inside it, there is elementary canal that extends from mouth to anus. From mouth to anus, the long tube that extends from mouth to anus where absorption and digestion takes place. That is called elementary canal. In it, first of all, it is buccal cavity. Buccal cavity. It is esophagus. Esophagus. It is diaphragm. Diaphragm is a muscular lining muscular lining which separates the thoracic cavity from abdominal cavity. Next is stomach. It is pancreas. It is large intestine. Large intestine. It is small intestine. Small intestine. It is liver and gall. Bladder. All these are the different parts, rectum and anus. These are the different parts of our digestive system through which digestion, different di uh, nutrition takes place. Okay, next is what are the different steps in nutrition in human beings then? These are same as we dealt with amoeba. First of all, it is ingestion. Second is digestion. Third, absorption. Fourth, assimilation. And fifth is ejection. All these are the steps of nutrition in human beings, as in amoeba. The steps are same, but process is different. In ingestion, how ingestion takes place? It takes place with the help of mouth. Through mouth with the help of our hand. It that is the complex food is taken inside. We are we are having holozoic mode of nutrition. That's why complex food is taken in and that, that process it is called ingestion. Intake of food with the hand to our mouth. Then the food goes to buccal cavity. In buccal cavity. There are present salivary glands. There are present salivary glands. Salivary glands secrete saliva. Salivary glands secrete saliva. And saliva has as an enzyme salivary amylase. Salivary amylase. Salivary amylase help in digestion of carbohydrates. Help in digestion of carbohydrates. So we can say that digestion of carbohydrates takes place in or started in buccal cavity. After buccal cavity, food goes to esophagus. Esophagus, it is also called food pipe. In food pipe, peristaltic movement takes place. Now what are peristaltic movement? Peristaltic movements. What are peristaltic movements? These are contraction and expansion movements that takes place in esophagus and help in pushing the food to the stomach. Now, food comes to stomach. Stomach is a J-shaped organ which secrete gastric juice. And gastric juice has many components, three components. What are those three components? Gastric juice has three components. Number one, HCL. First component is HCL. It help in killing the germs. It help in killing germs. Second function is it provide acidic medium. Acidic medium to activate pepsin. To activate pepsin. 
Second component is Tapsin. It helps in digestion of proteins. Help in digestion of proteins. And third component is mucus. It is the slippery layer that is present around the lining of stomach to protect the stomach from its own secretion that is HCL. As you know, HCL is a strong acid. If there is no protection against it, that it will corrode the lining of stomach. Protect stomach lining. Stomach lining. From HCL. These are the components of gastric juice and their functions. HCL, pepsin and mucus. Now we can say that digestion of protein started in stomach. Now the food goes to small intestine. And in between there are, there are lines. Pancreas, liver and gall bladder. Then the food goes to small intestine. The pancreatic secretions goes to small intestine. Now we should know about pancreatic secretions. Pancreas secrete pancreatic juice. Pancreatic juice. Pancreas is a leaf-like structure. In pancreatic juice, the components are Trypsin, amylase and lipase. Trypsin, amylase and lipase. These are the three components of pancreatic juice. Number one, trypsin. It help in, it help in digestion of proteins. Number two, amylase. It help in digestion of carbohydrates. It help in digestion of carbohydrates. Number three, lipase. It help in digestion of fats. Digestion of fats. And all this takes place in small intestine where the secretions of pancreatic juice goes. This is liver. Liver is the largest gland of our body. Liver. It is largest gland. Largest gland of our body. And it secretes bile. Secretes bile. It is greenish yellow liquid. That help in emulsification. That help in emulsification. Now, what, what is emulsification? Do you know about emulsification? It is the breakdown of breakdown of fat into fat globules. Fat globules. It is called emulsification. Done with the help of bile. Now, Bile is used in emulsification and that is left, that is stored inside gall bladder. Now, whole process of digestion, it got completed in small intestine. Then, absorption. So, after digestion, what's the step? That is absorption. How absorption takes place? Absorption takes place with the help of villi. Villi are the finger-like projections present in the wall of small intestine. These increase the surface area. Increase the surface area. Surface area for absorption of digested food. Digested food. What are villi? These are villi. Villi are finger-like projections which increase the surface area for absorption of digested food. Now, after absorption of digested food, food goes to blood and release energy. 
with the help of process called respiration and that energy is used for growth and repair of the body and that process is called assimilation for growth and repair of the body that is called assimilation after that undigested food goes to large intestine and where the excess of water and minerals are absorbed and undigested food goes to rectum and anus in this way the undigested food is ingested out and this is called ingestion whole process of digestion whole process of nutrition takes place like this now we should know when the digestion takes place carbohydrates carbohydrates breaks up to form glucose with the help of enzyme called amylase second proteins break down to form amino acids amino acids and third is fats fats break down to form fatty acids fatty acids and glycerol in this way all the complex particles get breaker broken down with the help of enzymes this with the help of amylase this will the with the help of trypsin and pepsin and this with the help of lipase now there is a question why large why small intestine of herbivores is longer than carnivores small intestine of herbivores is longer than carnivores because herbivores have to digest cellulose cellulose takes long time to digest that's why the small intestine of herbivores is longer than carnivores another question instead of a large intestine is very long tube then large intestine but small intestine is called small and large intestine is called large intestine why why it is small intestine is it is narrow and large intestine is wide that's why the name is small and large intestine in this way digestion takes place in the body now dental queries dental queries <coughs> when we do not clean our teeth there is a layer sticky layer yellowish layer comes on our teeth that is called flab called flab because of which microorganisms grow in our, grow in our mouth and it provide it creates acidic medium in the mouth and corrode the enamel of our teeth now for this we should know about where is the enamel in our teeth enamel is the outermost layer hardest layer present outside the teeth then there is dentine and it is pulp cavity when there is acidic medium that is ph is below 6 5.6 in our mouth then then enamel start corroded that is started corroded and the our teeth becomes sensitive our teeth becomes sensitive after enamel damage of dentine takes place and then we can feel the sensation of cold and hot in our pulp cavity in the nerves and our teeth become sensitive that's why we use toothpaste that's it that is basic in nature and to neutralize the acidic medium in our mouth this is all for the day please subscribe and like my video if you like it